Nicola Sturgeon has called on the EU to help her with her desperate dream for Scottish independence to rip the UK apart. The Scottish First Minister used Brexit to get the Brussels bloc on her side as she said the UK's exit from the EU completely contradicts the vision of this Scottish government for our country. The SNP leader has repeatedly used Britain's momentous Brexit vote to push her agenda to rip Scotland from the UK. She is hoping the EU will let an independent Scotland rejoin the bloc following the UK's departure. Writing of German newspaper Die Welt, Miss Sturgeon said, We have no direct say in the outcome of the negotiations, even though Scotland as a nation voted with an overwhelming majority to remain in the EU in the 2016 Brexit referendum. That the British government seems determined to push ahead with an EU exit without an agreement would be foolish even in normal times, in the midst of a global pandemic, it is completely irresponsible. The Scottish government believes that the best future for our country as an independent nation lies within the EU. Scotland voted by 62% to remain at the 2016 Brexit referendum. She also launched a blistering attack on the UK government as she pitted it directly against the EU. Ms Sturgeon said, precisely because the UK government is determined to turn its back on consensus and solidarity, Scotland needs an alternative way forward. In contrast to the EU, in which partners are equal and decisions require consensus and often unanimity, the UK works differently, Westminster can ignore and override Scotland's wishes. Continuing her desperate bid, Ms Sturgeon said Scotland stood behind the EU's fundamental values with full conviction. She said, the fundamental values of the European Union, respect for human dignity and human rights, freedom, democracy, equality and the rule of law, are all values that we stand behind with full conviction. As a country, we have benefited significantly from the four freedoms of the single market. This also includes freedom of movement, people from all over Europe have made Scotland their new home. At its core, the European Union is a peace project and we will, as we have done throughout the Brexit negotiations, always fully support the Good Friday Agreement. We understand the importance of preventing a hard border on the island of Ireland. 